Communication is exchanging or passing along information, thoughts, or feelings. So first and foremost, when do you learn how to communicate? You learn how to communicate the day you are born. So when you're a baby, your life coaches, aka your parents, are communicating to you through their facial expressions, whether they're like, like you're already taking that in, genius and they're also communicating with you when you're hearing their voice, when they're speaking to you. So communication is not only speaking, but listening and receiving information. And so that is really important as you grow up because the way you communicate can be taken differently by different people who are not used to your form of communication. So for example, one way of communicating is through your facial expressions, your nonverbals. And an example of this could be maybe somebody hands you a plate of anchovies and you go to smell it, like for me, like I smell all of my food all the time. Um, so you go to smell the plate of anchovies and you're just like, that already says, ew, it stinks, I don't like it. And you just made a face. It was just a facial expression. But that speaks volumes. That is a way of communicating. Another way you communicate is through writing. Writing is a form of self-expression. So at school, you probably have to write an argumentative piece of writing where maybe you argue which chips are better, Takis or Hot Cheetos. And you have to list all the reasons why your choice of chips is the best, that is one way that you communicate is by having people feel what you are writing when you are writing it. So um, I could write about Takis are my favorite because the way the texture of the chili powder on the chip is just, is just so soft and smooth. And then I, um, take all the chili off and then from there, then I bite into it, it's a nice crunch. And then that just makes whoever is reading your paper so excited, their mouth is probably watering. <laughs> so even though you're not communicating face to face, you're communicating through your piece of writing. Um, another way you can communicate is through talking and by listening. So uh, maybe you're talking through, um, texting or you're talking on the phone or you're face to face with a friend, what you say really carries a lot of weight. So you have to first get to know who you're communicating to and understand their point of view and their thoughts and feelings before you communicate the way you think. Um, and I know from experience, like I tend to communicate a lot of what I feel or what I think, but it really takes me a moment to appreciate another person's perspective because I never thought of it like that. And then that goes into like my memory bank or this thought bank that I have where I'm like, okay, I'm going to take in their form of communication that they just gave me and I'm going to receive it and adjust my mindset and perspective to be more open and understanding. And so genius, that's exactly where you come in. And when you are communicating with your friend and maybe you guys have a disagreement, you understand that, hey, they thought this way because of this, this, and this, and I think this way because of this, this, and this, but you both are communicating your perspectives and you both can agree to disagree. Other forms of communication are through sign language, talking with your hands. Um, another way to communicate is through braille. So there are some geniuses who are, who are not able to see, but they are able to communicate through feeling the dots on, on paper. Another way to communicate is by seeing different signs. There's signs all around us, for example, like, when we're driving or when your your life coaches are driving not you because you're not old enough yet um you see different signs like the stop sign stop sign means stop 
And then there's also the the light, um, the traffic light, where you see red means stop, yellow means slow down, and then green means go. So you are taking in so many different forms of communication without really communicating, but you're communicating, if that makes any sense. Um, I just wanted to stress the importance of communicating. And I know a lot of the times um, we're so stuck on watching television or on our tablets or our phones. So I just want to remind you now that you're watching this to take a moment, get off all your devices and communicate face to face because the only way you'll be a better communicator and get your points across is by having communication, speaking your voice and I don't ever want you to lose your voice genius. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here, and I want you to go ahead and drop in the comments below, who was the last person you communicated with face-to-face -face today? Let me know. As always, I greatly appreciate you, I love you, and keep it genius. Bye-bye.